Have you ever pondered why some people seem to attract wealth effortlessly while others struggle? What's the secret behind this paradox? The answer, surprisingly, isn't as elusive as you might think. You see, wealth isn't necessarily about having a windfall of money land in your lap. It's not about that lucky lottery ticket or an unexpected inheritance from a long-lost relative. No, the secret to wealth, the true paradox of it, lies in something far more mundane and yet infinitely more powerful, money management. Now, wait a second. Before you roll your eyes and dismiss this as another save more, spend less sermon, let's dig a little deeper. You see, money management isn't just about pinching pennies or skipping that daily latte. It's about understanding how money works. It's about harnessing the power of your income, no matter how large or small, and making it work for you. Too often, wealth is seen as something that's out of reach for the average person. It's viewed as a privilege reserved for the lucky few who are born into the right families or who stumble upon the right opportunities. But this couldn't be further from the truth. The reality is, wealth is accessible to anyone who's willing to learn about money and apply those lessons in their daily lives. So, what does it mean to understand money? It means recognizing that every dollar you earn is a tool that can be used to build your wealth. It means realizing that the way you handle your money today will determine your financial future. It means understanding that wealth isn't about luck or inheritance, but about knowledge, discipline and strategic decision-making. Of course, understanding money is just the first step. To truly unlock the paradox of wealth, you need to couple this understanding with action. You need to apply the principles of money management in your daily life. You need to make smart decisions about how you save, spend and invest your money. Understanding money and how it works is the first step in unraveling the wealth paradox. And once you've taken that step, the path to wealth becomes a whole lot clearer. Money, like any tool, needs a master who knows how to wield it effectively. Let's dive into the four pillars of money management. Budgeting, saving, investing, and minimizing debt. These are the fundamental principles that guide us on the journey to financial freedom. First, budgeting. It's the roadmap for your money. It's all about understanding your income and expenses and making a plan for how to spend and save. Think of it as a financial blueprint that helps you make wise decisions about your money. Without a budget, you're sailing a ship without a compass. Second, saving. It's your financial safety net. It's the money you set aside for emergencies, unexpected expenses or future goals. It's not just about stashing away every penny, but about building a cushion that can protect you from financial shocks. Saving isn't an option, it's a necessity. Third, investing. This is the engine that drives wealth creation. Investing is about making your money work for you. It's about putting your money into assets that have the potential to grow over time, whether that's stocks, real estate, or a small business. Investing isn't about getting rich quick. It's about building wealth steadily over time. And finally, minimizing debt. Debt can be a powerful tool when used wisely, but it can also be a heavy burden that drags you down. It's about understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt, and making smart choices to keep your debt under control. Minimizing debt isn't about never borrowing, it's about borrowing wisely. Each of these pillars plays a crucial role in managing your money and building wealth. They're not separate strategies, but interconnected parts of a larger financial plan. They're not about making sacrifices, but about making choices. Choices that can help you build a secure financial future. Mastering these pillars of money management puts you on the path to financial freedom. Albert Einstein once called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. Now, compound interest might sound like a complex financial term, but let's break it down in simpler terms. Imagine you've got a single snowflake. On its own, it's tiny, almost insignificant. But let that snowflake join forces with others, and over time, it can form an avalanche. Compound interest works in a similar way. It's the process where the interest you earn on your money also earns interest. It starts off small, but give it time, and it grows exponentially. 
Let's say you start off with $100 and it grows at a yearly interest rate of 5%. After one year, you'll have $105. But after 20 years, you won't have $200, you'll have $265. That's the magic of compound interest. It's your money working for you, and then that money working for your money. Harnessing the power of compound interest is like planting a money tree that bears fruit year after year. Putting all your eggs in one basket might seem like a good idea until the basket falls. Let's delve into the world of investment and talk about a strategy that seasoned investors swear by, diversification. Picture this, you're a gardener and you have a variety of seeds at your disposal. Would you choose to plant only one type of seed or would you spread out your options and plant several kinds? If you chose the latter, congratulations, you've just practiced diversification. Diversification, in the context of investments, operates on the same principle. It's the strategy of spreading your investments across multiple assets, be it stocks, bonds, real estate, or even cryptocurrencies. The logic behind this is simple. Not all investments perform well at the same time. When one asset class is down, another might be up. By spreading your investments, you're essentially cushioning your portfolio against market fluctuations. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, diversification can seem intimidating. The sheer variety of assets out there can make anyone's head spin. But remember, diversification isn't about collecting every asset under the sun. It's about finding a balance that suits your financial goals and risk tolerance. Consider this. When you diversify, you're not just minimizing risk, you're also potentially increasing your returns. Different assets have different rates of return. And by diversifying, you're giving yourself the opportunity to reap the benefits of high-performing assets. It's like betting on several horses in a race. You might not win every bet, but you increase your chances of striking it lucky. Here's a crucial point to remember. Diversification is not a one-time task. It requires regular review and rebalancing to ensure your portfolio aligns with your goals. It's like tending to your garden. You can't just plant the seeds and forget about them. You need to water them, prune them, and sometimes even replant them. Diversification is not just about spreading risk. It's about maximizing opportunities. And in the unpredictable world of investment, who wouldn't want to maximize their opportunities? We've journeyed through the world of money management and wealth building. Let's take a moment to recap the key points we've covered and the steps you can take to start building your wealth from nothing. First, we've explored the paradox of wealth. We've seen that it's not about how much you earn, but what you do with what you earn. The size of your paycheck doesn't determine your wealth, your decisions do. Remember, wealth isn't about having a lot of money, it's about having a lot of options. Next, we dived into the pillars of money management. We've seen that it's crucial to control your expenses, save diligently, and invest wisely. We've learned that the key to mastering money management lies in living within your means, prioritizing savings, and making informed investment decisions. We then uncovered the power of compound interest, often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. We've seen that it's not just about saving money, but about making your money work for you. Remember, the earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Following that, we discuss the importance of diversification. We've learned that it's not wise to put all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across various asset classes, you can reduce risk and increase potential returns. And now, it's time for you to take action. Start by understanding money. Then implement the pillars of money management. Leverage the power of compound interest by starting to invest as early as possible. And finally, diversify your investments to spread risk and maximize returns. Remember, wealth isn't a destination, it's a journey. And that journey begins with a single step, understanding money. So start your journey today and watch as your wealth grows.